Hey guys, so I hope you guys have had a great summer and I just wanted to give you guys an update about what's been going on and um, I realized I haven't given you guys any information so that's what this video is about today. But first off, um, I've been in school for about a month and a half now and as you can see from the video title, Where Are the Pigs? Well, that's the bad news about this is after five and a half years of having guinea pigs in my classroom, my uh, principal decided they were no longer welcome. And it broke my heart, students' hearts, and but there's nothing I can do about that. So as you can see in my little picture over here, God of Carmel, um, it's kind of hard to see, but he's uh, in the school yearbook picture for last year. So um, he got in there, but so that was pretty heartbreaking coming back to school and finding out that I was not allowed to bring them back. Um, there was no explanation, just that she did not feel comfortable with having them at the school. So um, pretty sad, but that's not the end of it. I'm not like done with YouTube. As you can see, I've posted some stuff, but this just means that the adventure is changing. It's no longer how to take care of guinea pigs in the classroom. Those are old videos. Now it's going to be just how everybody else takes care of guinea pigs. So um, what the outlook on this is now they're living at home. So they've been living in my garage for the summer because I don't have a, pl I have it, don't have a place for them currently um, because that was just a uh, temporary until they could come back to school and then she said they're not allowed back so it was just like okay what do I do with these three cages so um, me and my parents have been in the process of coming up with a cage idea in the basement so my garage is partially underground so it stayed pretty like in the 70 75 range I kept like a fan circulating air so it kept it a good um, temperature but now that I mean I'm saying it now that it is but it's not the temperature is not dropping right now um, it was first day of fall yesterday or whenever this video comes out it was the the day, the first day of fall, and it was 91, 91 degrees. So um, it's not dropping yet, but the more like the nights are getting cooler. So that means that the garage is getting slightly cooler. And so I want them to get into the basement. Um, I have a, a large laundry room, so they have a they'll have a section, a corner that I'm going to create a cage. So I'm just going to kind of give you an idea of um, what that may look like. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a drawing for you, but it's probably going to be pretty ugly, so just hopefully you can follow along. But what I plan on doing um, in the corner is I plan on my dad's going to create two tables and um, so we could put them together as an L shape because I don't want to do one huge section because now I can't transport it, move it, sell it if I do away with it later. I'd rather it be two tables and I can always repurpose them, use them for folding laundry, whatever, once you know the guinea pigs have passed on or something. So um, that is what we're planning on doing. It's going to be low to the ground, so it's going to be about um, just tall enough where I can fit bins under because I want to be able to bend over and reach because I'm doing it three wide around so in the corner it's going to be three by three uh, or three wide grids instead of two grids wide so that means that that corner that is a large area for me to reach so I want it low and also I'm hoping to um, keep some of the grids like just tied instead of um, zip tied just have them clipped so then I can move them out and be able to get in. So I'm doing a regular CNC cage. Uh, I'm going to continue that. I'm going to reuse. I'm not going to reuse the stuff that there is in their cages now. I'm just going to go on out and buy all the new coroplast. Um, I will still use the grids, obviously. But um, Carmel is currently in a temporary cage. Carmel is my six-year-old guinea pig, and he will no longer. He will not be going back with any guinea pigs. So he has been a loner for about a year now. 
and he will continue to be a loner because of um, if I put him with the pigs he will become stressed and will get sick so he easily gets stressed and sick so within a year he's had to um, go to the vet three or four times due to a respiratory infection so I don't want to chance that so he will just be taking over the boys um, two by six cage he's current Carmel is currently like in a two by four two by five cage so um, it will be just a little bit more extra room for him to run around so um, but what I plan on doing is putting both um, cages on this corner cage so the boys and the girls Carmel will just be separate he will probably be in my sewing room or he may be upstairs in a bedroom because I mean Carmel is six years old he still acts like he's three but I don't know how much longer I have with him I was fully expecting him to pass away um, before the school year started because he started to go downhill pretty quickly but now he's like come out of it and ready to go so I don't know how much longer and so I don't have room for him to build into this corner cage. The corner cage sadly will be slightly smaller than what the pigs are used to. However, my cages are, my current cages are very long cages and narrow, whereas these cages will be wide and shorter. So that'll give them more space to like run around instead of just doing straight zoomies. They'll have, they can go all different directions. So um, I'm hoping for that. If I feel that they still need a little bit more space, um, I might, oh great, are you kidding me? <laughs> so our school has installed automatic things for the lights to go off like I guess every 15 minutes and of course it doesn't want to come on I'm over here waving stuff um, so there we go <laughs> so it's so annoying when it goes out so when you're sitting in your room doing your work and nothing's moving you're over here like doing all this waving stuff around trying to come back on it's like the office when Dwight did the automatic things but um for now I forgot what I was talking about so um, this will be done probably it'll be done the second week in October so um, my, it's our fall break and um, my parents are gonna come to town <clears throat> so we're gonna be um, fitting all that in making all this stuff my mom and I will be sewing new uh, fleece options so um, Hopefully that'll get done and the pigs will get into their new little spaces, but there's going to be like grids under, not grids, um, bins under everything. So um, all the essential stuff will be in the laundry room under the tables, whereas any other stuff will probably be in the garage in a cabinet. So it'll be a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it for them. So um, I'm hoping they enjoy it and I'm going to buy some... Um, more items so I'm hoping I might do a video on like the process of it I'm not really sure my my parents aren't big on being on video they don't like that so um, I don't know what I'll if I'll do something or I might just do a reveal um, not really sure but I definitely want to do a haul video of all the fleece I'll make and um, I'm gonna purchase them some more cage items because I feel like they need to upgrade I've had stuff for years so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on here. Um, life's been a little crazy with uh, soccer. Soccer's almost over. It'll be over at fall break and uh, my master's classes just started again. So I'm just taking one. My Etsy store has been taken off this summer. And so within like a month, um, everything that I had made uh, like is gone. So my store is pretty empty right now and I've been trying to get a little bit going. So um, I just have too many hands in one pot in one pot so I'm just or no I don't know how that saying goes uh, too many hands in different pots but so I'm sorry those of you that follow me on YouTube that you're here for um, consistent videos I just cannot be that youtuber with all that's going on so um, sorry about that not having videos about guinea pigs I you know hopefully you have enjoyed the little clips that I've put in here but I plan on hoping to do a video soon. It's just been chaos. The weekends are filled with um, just doing all kinds of stuff, trying to get caught up from coming home at eight o'clock at night. So 
Um, and I was fostering so many animals this summer, kittens, puppies, dot like a dog. Um, so I just, a couple weeks ago, took back, um, they were 10 week old puppies. They were super cute pits. Um, but so you've probably seen some videos. There will still be more videos uploading. I just have not been able, I think there's two or three more of those puppies. So if you love puppies, get ready. They're gonna be more of them. So um, they are just precious. Um, one for sure has already been adopted by one of my Instagram followers. She was a ble um, left, a deaf and one eye blind dog. So um, she was precious, loved you know life. The other three, I'm assuming they've been adopted by now. Um, I just know that one was adopted because she personally contacted me before I took them back and wanted to adopt it. So um, that's how I know. But it's just, it was a lot of fun, but I'm still cleaning up messes from what they did to my house. And uh, they have chewed, they have destroyed several things. So um, yeah, that's the great thing about puppies. I forgot that they love to destroy things. But anyway, I'll let you guys go. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick little update of what's been going on with my life. And um, I hope you guys are enjoying this hopefully soon to be fall weather and I will talk to y'all later. Bye guys.